Hi, this is Sahana. From past few sessions, we are learning entity framework correlationships. We have already covered one-to-one -one relationship and one-to-many relationship. If you want to go through those videos, visit my channel. You will find the playlist by name Entity Framework Core. There you will find all the videos. Today, we are going to learn many-to-many -many relationship. As per MSDN, many-to-many -many relationship is used when one entity type is associated with any number of entities of the same or another entity type. In the context of relational database, if row from one table can have multiple matching rows in another table and if it is vice versa, then we call it as many-to-many -many relationship. If we take an example of employee management system, an employee can be associated with any number of projects and projects can have any number of employees. This is an example for many-to-many -many relationship. Let's see how to set up many-to-many -many relationship. Let's first understand how it is done at SQL Server side. In SQL Server, many-to-many -many relationship can be created using junction table. We also call it as bridging table. This table connects other two tables. And this table will contain primary key columns of other two tables. Even entity framework core follows the same concept. Here we have employee class. You can also call it as employee entity. Now, we are going to set many-to-many -many relationship with project entity. So first, let's create project entity because already we have this employee entity. Project entity is nothing but project class. Right, click on models folder, add, click on class and name it as project. I will make it public and I will add the properties project ID and name. Uh, here project ID is the primary key. We have already discussed that SQL Server maintains separate table to connect two tables that are having many-to-many -many relationship. The same way, even here, we are going to create an entity that connects these two entities. Right-click on models, click on your class. We are going to name it as employee project. This entity will have IDs from both the tables. Here I'm adding employee ID. This is ID from employee class and this is reference navigation property. Here employee is reference navigation property. This tells that this employee ID is from employee table. Same way here I have project ID and reference navigation property. And this tells entity framework code that this project ID is from project class. Our next step is to define collection navigation property on both entities to represent the relationship. Let's see how to do that. I will open employee class and add this collection navigation property. Getting error because its access modifier is internal. I'll change it to public. We are going to do the same thing at project class. I'll open project class and I will add this collection navigation property. In case of many to many relationship, this much is not sufficient. We have to follow one more step that is explicit configuration using Fluent API. I'll tell you why to do this. For this explicit configuration, we have to override on model creating method from AppDB context class. I'll open AppDB context class. Here we have this on configuring method. The same way we have to override another method. Protected, override, and type will be return type will be void. And we have to override on model creating method and parameter will be model builder. In Fluent API, we are going to configure relationship. We have to configure it this way. I'll make a separate video on Fluent API. For now, you understand it is an API that lets us configure this model explicitly. Here we are configuring this joining entity employee project. Here we are defining the keys and in this, in this code, we are setting up relationship with employee entity and again here we are setting up relationship with project entity. We are going to understand Fluent API in an upcoming video. Uh, if you notice, in one-to-one -one relationship or one-to-many relationship, we did not override this on model creating method and did all these setup. Only in case of many-to-many -many relationship, we did this. This is because Entity Framework Core can automatically configure relationships based on predefined conventions. But in case of many-to-many -many relationship we have to do this because we have to tell entity framework core and database about this joining table even in case of one-to-one -one relationship and one-to-many relationship if you want to override default conventions then you can go for fluent api and you can override predefined conventions before adding migration let's add these two entities as db set so i have added these projects and employee details now let's add migration save this file 
open package manager console migration i'll name it as menu to manage relationship migration is ready let's execute update database command so that all these changes will be applied to database hit enter this has applied the migration many to many relationship let's go to sql server object explorer and inspect our database see here we have all the tables including joining table here we have employee details employee projects employees managers and projects that's it for today's session i hope the session was useful there is a lot more to learn in this series see you soon in the next video thank you